Welcome to Akbar Academy. Today we are going to do an AS at Excel Waves and Electricity Classified booklet question on page 367 and we're going to look at simple electrical circuits. So page 367, question number 82. Let's get stuck right in. A student connects the circuit as shown in the diagram. So what we've got in this diagram is a battery on the left hand side of six volts. We have a thermistor along the top and we have a fixed resistor along the bottom with a voltmeter in parallel. And the very first part of the question says the reading on the voltmeter, which is across the fixed resistor, is 1.8 volts. Calculate the current in the resistor. So what we're supposed to realize here is that in a series circuit, current is always the same. And what they've done is they've actually given us the voltage across the fixed resistor. So we can actually find, and we've got the resistance in the fixed resistor, so we can find the current at that point and know that it's the same throughout. So remembering Ohm's law, I equals V over R which is 1.8 over 400. And if I stick that in my calculator, I get 4.5 times 10 to the minus three amps. So in other words, 4.5 milliamps. Then it says, calculate the resistance of the thermistor. Now that we know the current in the fixed resistor, like I said in series, current's the same at all points, we actually also know the current in the thermistor. We know the current in the entire circuit. And the other thing that we're supposed to know is voltage in a series circuit adds up to the supply. So if this is 1.8 volts right here, it means the thermistor has to have 4.2 volts. And we already know the current in the circuit is 4.5 times 10 to the minus 3 amps. So that lets me find the resistance of the thermistor quite easily. So again, using Ohm's law, R equals V over I, which is 4.2 divided by 4.5 times 10 to the minus 3. Let's stick that in the calculator. So... Uh, 4.2 divided by, and we get 933.33 ohms. I'm going to just round that down to 933 ohms. Okay. Right, moving on. The graph shows how the resistance of the thermistor depends on its temperature. And then the next question says, determine the temperature of the thermistor. Well, we found that the resistance of the thermistor is 933 ohms. So we can see that the y-axis has resistance, the x-axis has temperature. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go along the y-axis and if I look between 500 and 1000 ohms, I can see there are five boxes. So the difference between 500 and 1,000 ohms is 500. There are five boxes, basically meaning each box is worth 100 ohms because of 500 divided by, let's just double check, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, 500 divided by five. So what that means is that I can go along from here roughly Right, and then come down. So it looks like it's anywhere between about 32 and 34 degrees Celsius. I mean, I've got it sitting at 32, but I know that my line is quite thick here. I'm going to go with the 32, but if I'm looking at the diagram closely, I think it could be anywhere between 32 and 34 degrees Celsius. But I'm going to go with my answer. 32 degrees Celsius. And let me just double check the mark scheme because there's always a range of answers for a question like that. And it is indeed between 32 
and 34 degrees Celsius. Then the next part of this question, the last part, says if the EMF of the supply was doubled, would the reading on the voltmeter double? And then it says explain your answer. So remember, we have got uh, the voltmeter currently reads 1.8 volts. And what they're saying is, if I made this 12 volts instead, would the voltage here become 3.6? Now, it might sound logical to conclude that, but it's not. And the reason is, if you double the voltage, you're going to increase the current in the circuit. If you increase the current in the circuit, you're going to make the thermistor warmer. If you make the thermistor warmer, its resistance decreases. If the resistance of a thermistor decreases, the voltage across the thermistor decreases. In other words, the voltage across the fixed resistor must increase. Why? Because the series circuit must add up to 12 in this case now. So basically, whilst it looks logical that it will double, it will actually end up doing more than double. So let me just write that down to make it nice and clear for you. When EMF is doubled, current in circuit increases, thermistor becomes warmer, resistance of thermistor decreases, so voltage across it, across it decreases, meaning ratio of potential differences has changed. Voltmeter will more than double. I, I hope that makes sense to you. 